Mahamudra cannot be taught. But most intelligent Naropa, since you have undergone rigorous austerity, with forbearance in suffering and with devotion to your Guru, Blessed One, take this secret instruction to heart. Is space anywhere supported? Upon what does it rest? Like space, Mahamudra is dependent upon nothing. Relax and settle in the continuum of unalloyed purity. and your bonds loosening. Release is certain. Gazing intently into the empty sky, vision ceases. Likewise, when mind gazes into mind itself, the train of discursive and conceptual thought ends, and supreme enlightenment is gained. Like the morning mist that dissolves into thin air, going nowhere but ceasing to be. Waves of conceptualization, all the mind's creation, dissolve when you behold your mind's true nature. Pure space has neither colour nor shape, and it cannot be stained either black or white. So also, mind's essence is beyond both colour and shape, and it cannot be sullied by black or white deeds. The darkness of a thousand eons is powerless to dim the crystal clarity of the sun's heart. And likewise, eons of samsara have no power to veil the clear light of the mind's essence.
although space has been designated empty. In reality, it is inexpressible. Although the nature of mind is called clear light, its every ascription is baseless verbal fiction. The mind's original nature is like space. It pervades and embraces all things under the sun. Be still and stay relaxed in genuine ease. Be quiet and let sound reverberate as an echo. Keep your mind silent and watch the ending of all worlds. The body is essentially empty, like the stem of a reed, and the mind, like pure space, utterly transcends the world of thought. Relax into your intrinsic nature, with neither abandon nor control. Mind with no objective is Mahamudra. And with practice perfected, supreme enlightenment is gained. The clear light of Mahamudra cannot be revealed by the canonical scriptures or metaphysical treaties of the Mantravada, the Paramitas or the Tripitaka. The clear light is veiled by concepts and ideals. By harbouring rigid precepts, the true Samaya is impaired. 
but with cessation of mental activity, all fixed notions subside. When the swell of the ocean is at one with its peaceful depths, when the mind never strays from indeterminate, non-conceptual truth, the unbroken Samaya is a lamp lit in spiritual darkness. free of intellectual conceits, disavowing dogmatic principles. The truth of every school and scripture is revealed. Absorbed in Mahamudra, you are free from the prison of samsara. Poised in Mahamudra, guilt and negativity are consumed. And as master of Mahamudra, you are the light of the doctrine. The fool, in their ignorance, disdaining Mahamudra, knows nothing but struggle in the flood of samsara. Have compassion for those who suffer constant anxiety. Sick of unrelenting pain and desiring release, Adhere to a master, for when their blessing touches your heart, the mind is liberated. Listen with joy. Investment in samsara is futile. It is the cause of every anxiety. Since worldly involvement is pointless, seek the heart of reality. In the transcending of mind's dualities is supreme vision. In a still and silent mind is supreme meditation. In spontaneity is supreme activity. And when all hopes and fears have died, 
the goal is reached. Beyond all mental images, the mind is naturally clear. Follow no path to follow the path of the Buddhas. Employ no technique to gain supreme enlightenment. Listen with sympathy, with insight into your sorry worldly predicament, realising that nothing can last, that all is as dreamlike illusion. Meaningless illusion provoking frustration and boredom. Turn around and abandon your mundane pursuits. Cut away involvement with your homeland and friends and meditate alone in a forest or mountain retreat. Exist there in a state of non-meditation and attaining no attainment, you attain Mahamudra. A tree spreads its branches and puts forth leaves, but when its root is cut, its foliage withers. So too, when the root of the mind is severed, the branches of the tree of samsara die. A single lamp dispels the darkness of a thousand eons. Likewise, a single flash of the mind's clear light erases eons of karmic conditioning 
and spiritual blindness. Listen with joy. The truth beyond mind cannot be grasped by any faculty of mind. The meaning of non-action cannot be understood in compulsive activity. To realize a meaning of non-action and beyond mind, cut the mind at its root and rest in naked awareness. Allow the muddy waters of mental activity to clear. Refrain from both positive and negative projection. Leave appearances alone. The phenomenal world, without addition or subtraction, is Mahamudra. The unborn, omnipresent base dissolves your impulsions and illusions. Do not be conceited or calculating, but rest in the unborn essence and let all conceptions of yourself and the universe melt away. The highest vision opens every gate. The highest meditation plumbs the infinite depths. The highest activity is ungoverned yet decisive. And the highest goal is ordinary being devoid of hope and fear. At first your karma is like a river falling through a gorge. 
In mid-course, it flows like a gently meandering river Ganga. And finally, as a river becomes one with the ocean, it ends in consummation, like the meeting of mother and child. May this pith instruction in Mahamudra remain in the hearts of fortunate beings. Thank you.